How y'all doing? My name is Justin Waddle. Today we're going to recap about how your chastisements come in three as well. And we're going to go over some situations I had to go through uh, to get this chastisements. So, so we're going to praise God today that his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. Because if that was the case, we truly wouldn't get nothing done on this earth. Because here's the simple truth about it. Where I thought it was as a problem to have to go to driver control, pay 150, pay 150 to a, a family class, and take a mad class. Okay? So that's 150, 150, that's 300 dollars altogether cash I had to pay to get my driver's license back. Okay. Then then I had to go to a family class, okay? And the family class, I had to take three classes and we're gonna go over this list right now so it was three classes in North Little Rock three words at three sweet hundred sweet 300 <laughs> I promise you I'm not teaching you all right so when God wants you to choose something and I have a 12 involved in it direction choice faith 19 means faith so on March 12th, he wanted me to choose to pay for this. All right. Then my first class was 4-3, changing direction for faith. Okay. So you got three classes I had to take. All right. My last class was 17th. 17 in the Bible means victory. I've been to 17 mental institutions. I was on meth for 17 years. Isaiah 54, 17 states that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. So when you receive 17s in your life, that means victory. Okay? So, so let's continue. So my last day I had to take this class was on the 17th, meaning I would have victory over this class sessions. Alright? Okay, it says, class is in the third story. Take the third stairs to the third floor. Okay. 15 in the Bible means rest. Esther, they assembled on the 13th day and the 14th day. Okay. In Esther chapter 9. On the 15th day they rested. Okay. So arrive 15 minutes early for rest. Alright. Alright. And that's how you see the power of 3 in your problems. Because they're not problems. You see, I had to take all these classes to fix my situation. You see, I was on drugs and I fell asleep at the wheel. And it wasn't nothing but God's hand being on this man's life that kept it alive when I smashed in the back of him. You see what I mean? So, so the situation is, in order for me to get my driver's license back, I got to go through chaos. Okay, I gotta go through trials and tribulations. I gotta go through through prosecutions of, of what I did wrong. You see what I'm saying? I gotta handle all that so I can get back to what he really had me to do, which was to have a driver's license. He willed that for me, and I did wrong, and he chastised me. But I didn't see the chastisement at first. You see what I mean? Until he didn't teach me about the knowledge that he taught Nikola Tesla about these numbers. I didn't even know for a simple fact the truth that he was involved at all. Matter of fact, I thought he wasn't even nowhere near around me. Okay? But because of the simple truth is about these numbers. About God's hand being in these numbers. About God using these numbers to reveal itself to us. He showed me how to have a, a Romans 8, 6. To be carnally minded as death, but to be spiritually minded as life and peace. You see, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Direction to spiritual mindset. You see, when the Holy Spirit uses a vessel of honor, he'll use three options. Remember those videos, okay? Romans 8, 6 is to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. I need life and peace, don't y'all? So the simple truth is he just, actually, matter of fact, the Holy Spirit just used me to read Romans 8, 6 three times in a row. You see what I mean? It's the truth. I promise y'all. The Holy Spirit talks to us so tough that we don't even realize it most of the time. Okay? And then, of course, in my third trial and tribulation to get my driver's license back, um, 
I had to go to a mag class. Now, I'm not too technology intelligent, if you will, okay? I don't know how to do anything really on the internet because I don't ever get on the internet because the internet doesn't work if you don't know how to spell because if you don't know how to spell, what are you going to look up? You're going to look up the wrong stuff, right? Okay, that ain't me teaching y'all. So here's the beauty. Here's the beauty of it. I didn't fill out my online certificate to get this mag class uh, to be a part of it. All right. So this lady comes out the door and is like, "Hey, who wants to help set up chairs?" Well, you know me and the Holy Spirit, we jump on board of everything like that. Oh, right here, three people help set up chairs. When, when it's time to go in and, and check in, she said, "Oh, sweetheart, you can't come in because because all the people who signed online." They come in first because they've already paid. So, but since you were willing to help us when nobody else would but two other people, she said, we'll go ahead and let you slide in on this class. You see, Proverbs 16, 6 says, uh, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, even his enemies will be at peace with him. You understand? See, I sacrifice my flesh to help somebody out and the Lord was so pleased with it he let me come in a class illegally I wasn't even supposed to be in that class period period they don't play around at mothers against drunk driving I wasn't even drunk I was on pills but they still don't play around about it and you hear my flesh trying to justify it yeah we're all born into sinful nature we're all going to do these things. Thank God his thoughts are not our thoughts. Because even though I knew that he set all that up for me to be able to see the glory of God be revealed through a miracle that above all miracles that I only know he could have done. I still want to say, oh, I wasn't drinking. I was popping pills. Well, thank God I'm a child of God now. Thank God I have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2.16. Thank God he taught me the secrets of the Bible. 1 Corinthians 2.10. I'm trying to tell you. It ain't me telling you. So y'all just have a beautiful day. Have a glorious day. Be looking for the numbers of the Bible to appear. His words light our path, but his numbers are how we diligently seek him. Please do not be ashamed of the gospel. Do not hold your tongue. Let your light shine. Whether it be gloomy, whether it be a gloomy day or not. <laughs> I'm about to let my light shine because the Holy Spirit showed me how to let it shine. And the more I let it shine, the more I glorify God. The more I glorify God, the more He draws people to me to glorify Him too. So please, please subscribe at the bottom. I appreciate every one of y'all who listen uh, to this because you're not listening to me. You're being a faithful servant to your Father. I promise you it is not me teaching y'all this. Uh, Luke 12, 12, for the Holy Spirit will teach you what you ought to say in that very hour. So please, all y'all, uh, please subscribe at the bottom to the Holy Spirit's channel. Thank you. Have a good day. God bless you.